Halloween, the hardest Bob Ross tutorial on my bedroom. Wow. Let me explain. There have been some claims on the YouTube sphere of people following the hardest Bob Ross tutorial, but according to my factual opinion, that is wrong. The scene is of a campfire and then a dude sitting by the campfire and then some trees. It's very different, but that doesn't make it the hardest. So I compiled a list of the things that I believe would make the painting the hardest. This is the list. Color. Lots of colors, hard to blend. Value. Lights and darks. Depth. Are there things really far away and up close? Detail. That takes expertise. Difficulty. Lastly, how many different parts are there? Mountains, trees, water, waterfalls, grass, things. So I went through all 31 seasons and 13 episodes per season, which equals to 31 times 13, which is this big number. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. But it was fun. I had some giggles. As I mentioned earlier, him and I have the same hairdresser. We both got the fuzz top up here. <laughs> Okay, tell you what. Good for my soul. And then I found these videos. I need a plan. According to the words of Bob Ross, make your own world, create your own world. This is your world. So what did I do? I'm combining these pieces. We're gonna take the sky colors from the ocean sunset piece. From the seascape fantasy, we're taking the clouds. From mountain by the sea, we're taking almost everything. We're taking the sea, we're taking the mountain, and then we're taking the little bushes on the side. Here's a quick, not so detailed thumbnail sketch of what this is going to look like, but a lot better. Trust me, it's gonna be a lot better. Let me say, I am following a tutorial because what did Bob Boss me? said to follow your dreams. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I mean, he probably did. So. I'm combining all the images and making my own world, just like how Bob Ross wanted us to. Let's get to the nitty gritties of how we're gonna start this thing. First, you move everything. Then, you set up a tape. You gotta make sure to cover the floors so that your mommy doesn't yell at you and you don't have to spend two, three hours trying to take off little speckles. That's what we're doing. Got some tape, yes. hear that? That doesn't feel safe. I'm perspiring. Um, yeah. Ah, there's a spider! Oh my gosh! <sighs> Get away. Live somewhere else. Okay, he's on the paint. Please! Then, supplies. Objects used. A paint tray. Big piece of cotton. Rolling puff balls. A five inch polyester blend stain and waterproofing block brush. Home Depot gave me that name. It's really long and complicated and I don't know why it's so long. It makes it so much easier to smoothly blend the big blocks of color such as the sunset and it looks delicious. Assorted bristles on a stick. Big cups. Sticky skinny paper. A flat piece metal thing. I use this to make the rough sides of the mountain. And then, your paint. There's a lot of colors here. This could be made with a third of the amount of stuff I have here. I just happen to have it. Tip, just if you're curious. This stuff, what is this stuff? It's retarder. It makes it so that it doesn't dry as quickly and you can blend more easily. And lots of white. One of these should finish a wall, but I go a little crazy, so it might not be the whole thing, but yes, white. And finally, we're ready to follow the hardest Bob Ross tutorial on my bedroom wall. Let's do this thing. I have the world's worst wedgie. And I don't want comments about my bum on a video. How could I be so dumb? Why did I wear those pants? Literally the worst wedgie. To solve this problem, there is going to be a dinosaur emoji over my bum to protect myself and my wedgie. <sighs> you know, there is something about painting my wall that creates the worst. The worst bodily stench ever. I don't see anyone. No one needs to be dealing with this smell, but I do. It's even too much for me, just so you know. Cheers, the wall's white now, and now I wanna paint the sunset, and I'm gonna make it really pastel and cute and happy. And it was time to get this thing started. I worked on the gradient for a good minute because I don't want that to be patchy, and here's how I do that. This is when this thingy comes in handy. So you see here how that's not blended very nicely? This is gonna make it so much easier to blend on your big wall. XE shape these really fast, vigorous, intense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
You see how crisp this line is? That is crispy. So I realized that if there's tape, then underneath the tape, it won't be painted. So I moved the tape, but the tape was on a wet wall. So I had to pat the tape so that it stayed on the wet wall and I painted it. Mm -hmm. It's the next day and I realized maybe the reason I smell bad is because I've neglected proper hygiene except for like washing my hands intensively. So laundry and taking a shower. Because who am I going to see? But that's still, you know, it's kind of nasty. So I did my laundry and smelling fresh. Plan is to finish the wall. Not the wall. Well, the, yeah, the wall. But the, the sky. Today. Dee 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 Did we hear that sound? It was like that scratchy chalkboard sound. Oh, I really do not know where to put the mountain because of the clouds and then there's going to be greenery on the side. This is just getting very confusing very quickly. We're going to do it right here. Yeah, this is the spot. Is this the spot? I don't think it's the spot. I think it should have been right here. Yes, 1000%. And the time finally came to paint the clouds, the delicate, wispy clouds. But as this experience was going on, a great tragedy was approaching us. Closer and closer it came until it was there. Okay, I don't know how I feel about that narration I just did, but yes, a very heavy storm came and it got darker and darker and you could see less and less and it couldn't focus on me and so I thought there was a ghost. But it might have just been that there wasn't enough light. That definitely was why. Because the skies have blessed us with such a beautiful storm, let's close our eyes and meditate. I'm serious, close your eyes. Do it right now. Thank you. Mm, yes. Are your eyes closed? Yes. Yes, very nice. Okay, let's get back into things. I wanted to go run out in the rain, but my dad said that was a bad idea because I would hurt myself because there was hail and he was probably right, so I didn't and I got scared and I didn't go in the rain, which probably was a good idea, but we're gonna continue this now. Why did I just talk like I'm on TikTok trying to make a one minute vlog thingy? Oh my gosh. It's infusing into my being. All right, let's continue. The hard part about things as abstract as clouds is that you can really go on forever. And I mean forever. You can look at this thing and be like, okay, I need to add shadowing there and then some highlights there. And then you can think that a hundred times over and it never ends. As I continued this treacherous and never ending battle, the day came to an end. The sun started to set and my room got darker and darker and darker until I finally decided it is time to rest. See you tomorrow. Good afternoon. We're gonna do the mountain now. I'm not gonna obsess over the clouds any longer because it is not good. It's time to paint the mountain. For some reason, this reminds me of Tangled, and I don't know why. I think it has something to do with the color scheme, of course, because that would make sense why it reminds me of it. Like, it feels like Tangled, and I really like that. I'm gonna tap into the teacher, philosophy type person self of me. Bob Ross said it himself, but it is so important to not want to control everything, okay? I sound so annoying but I like want to talk about this. I just want to feel like I have something to say to the world. Um, my time's running out and I'm going to be talking soon, so we're going to get back to this, okay? After the sea is magical, we're going to go on to the greenery. Let's just hope we can get the sea magical. I believe in us. Do you? I do. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Let's talk about control. Who the freakity boopity boop do I think I am right now? Anyways, like water, okay? It doesn't have uniform doesn't follow a structure. It may definitely, actually most positively, have some crazy scientific molecular reasons for the things that it does. But at the same time, it is free flowing, not following anyone's rules, okay? So when you go ahead to make a masterpiece, don't follow rules, follow your heart. <laughs> okay, I am too much. You know what? No, no I'm not. I'm the perfect amount of me doing me preach it on you yes okay splattering again just like i was talking about letting the paint take control Be oh this is me going crazy oh, terrible. and i'm back all right let's doing some scrumptious yummy delectable don't know any other words rocks on the sea coming through the waves they are strong rocks okay they face a lot in life of these big waves hitting them all the time, but they're still there, standing strong, doing their thing, being themselves, not let anything push them down. Just like you, 
Yes. Okay, now, what am I doing here? Time lapse, trying to look cool, don't know what to say anymore. Oh my goodness, my brain, blank. I've lost your attention. Have I? Are you still here? Let me know. Can I just tell you something? We are itching towards the end of this painting. Yes, we are. But there are some struggles. This section, guys, did not work out. Well, it did, but it, it was rough. This looks like a pile of nasty stuff. I don't approve of that. So I don't know what to do here. I want to make it look scrumptious, but it's not working. It looks like a blob. Oh, just a blob. No, well, no, well. I'm done for today and see you tomorrow. Good night. It is the final day of this mess. It better be the final day of this mess. I would consider this the most enjoyable and important stage because this is going to bring the piece together. Because right now, yes, there's a mountain and a sea and some rocks in the sky, but does it feel unified? No. And that is what we're gonna do. This is a very important, crucial part to this, okay? Without this, there wouldn't be a completed piece. Yeah, let's just get going. I'm back again working at the clouds because it was really not it. It was not working. It did not resonate with the inner arteries of my heart. Not at all. They were pushing too much blood, too little blood. I don't know what was going on, but it just was not right. So I worked on that. Then it was too dark, and then I had to make it lighter, and then it just kind of looked really weird all around. But then I added a little cute little sun, and I added some highlights, and it started to work. Big moment here, we're down to the last step, the last step, and that is to put the branch here in this corner from the mountain by the sea piece. It was the end of the day, I put the branch on the wall, in my room in my house, put little sticks on there, put some little leaves on there, made it cute. And I was done. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you another time. You're great. Oh no! The painting is done! And just in tradition of the last of my video, we're gonna do a dance celebration. Oh, woo! Yes! 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 There it is! Woo! Am I planning on painting every single bedroom in the house? Maybe I am! But I do want to paint like a forest scene in here because we already have one. Why not do another one? But don't tell my mommy. Maybe she would say no. I don't know. Okay. Bye!